you've heard of the dog and horse whisperer, but in studio today, we have a decipherer. A man who's going to decipher Khalima Mutlante's mind because, you know, he's running from something. Let's, let's find out. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Where do we start? Uh, are we agreeing that this man is an enigma? Hmm? I mean, there's so much to him. We all uh, 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 are listening to him, but we are not grasping because we are not clever enough. You, you, you think? Is, is that the no, case? No, no, no. You are absolutely incorrect. Khalema is a very simple man. Most of what he's saying is just to pass time. By the way, he has no answers for the questions that are asked Yeah. And how can I say this? It's like the lights are on, but the, the man is not home. No, the, the, these things you are saying are, are, are very hard to believe. I mean, I mean that can't be true. He's intelligent. He's wise. He brings hope to no, the no, ANC. No, no, it's just a beard and grey hair that's fooling you right now. No, the man is a dunderhead. Surely you are oversimplifying, man. I mean, this guy, last Friday when he was asked if he's gunning for the president, and I quote, this is what he said, I might not sound, uh, I might sound like I'm ducking and diving, right? I, I have pol a political attitude, but I am certainly not a politician. I mean, that oh means, I mean, God. come on. That, those words, if you look very closely to them, they, 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 they mean something. What? You can't be serious. Loy, I thought you were I'm clear. No, 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 look, look. That I'm man, you can just hear clearly that he's talking political nonsense. I mean, if, 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 look, if he was deputy president of the country mm. and president for nine months, mm. is he not a politician? I mean, I give up, really. You know, no. No, I've heard all no. the rhetoric there is to hear. But, you know, if I came to Khalima and I said, uh, say, excuse me, are you hungry? Do you know, you just say, well, it depends uh, if you are speaking about the abstract hunger and the idea of the hunger of the soul, therefore I am. Oh, please. Kalima, please. What? <laughs> Look, what you, you are sitting here and there's a term commonly known for you. You are called a hater. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. No. Look, all these things you are saying to me, I, I find them very hard to believe. I Loiso, think Loiso, please. The, the majority of the, of the voters are unable to read or write. Now, if you're going to be speaking in metaphors, you're just, you're just <sighs> flying over their heads. I mean, these guys are just creating an illusion, you know, that, oh, there's a democracy here. But I'm telling you, right after Mangawum, boop, batteries of Kalima are out back into the cupboard. They've played with the toy enough. Ah, that's so disappointing, South Africa. The illusion of democracy. Don't go anywhere, we'll be back after the break.